Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Man Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got a quick gameplay for you today. A little bit of an experimental video. Something I wanted to make a video about for a while. It got to the point where I'm pretty sick of playing mutt. Um, I'm sick. I'm just sick. It's not the game mode itself. It's just the the constant grind, the uh, the constant uh, arms race, the constant chase to just make your team slightly better. It's just really not worth it anymore. It's to the point where I kind of got sick of that. So I decided to make a video, and I thought about doing this for a while, where I wanted to just sell my entire team. Uh, I wanted to sell all my best players, sell everything except for my Nats, and see where my team is left. To start off as a 95, I started recording this video a little bit late, um, but I had a 95 overall team, not a dime spent this year, no money spent, no packs, no coins, bought nothing, uh, just a straight grind to make this team as good as possible, and I got all the way up to a 95. So what I decided to do, like I said, I'm selling everybody, I'm gonna, and when I did it, I, I learned a few things that were actually pretty shocking. So number one, one of the most shocking things is that my overall my team only dropped to a 90 uh, which I thought was pretty surprising went from a 95 to a 90 so I dropped five points and if you look at my offense it's still pretty good if you ask me like I didn't really lose much like my receiving core is still pretty awesome the only thing I really would have to upgrade is probably my guard and uh, my running back I'm not a huge fan of the running back situation then on the defensive side I, st I st still have a really good defense the only thing I'd really have to upgrade here would probably be my cornerbacks and my free safety so it's like ultimately I mean, if I just use some of the training points that I have to move Rod Woodson back up to a reasonable overall or Deion Sanders to a reasonable overall, my team really looks almost exactly the same as it did before I did this, which is, like I said, really scary. I haven't lost much at all. I even have a 90 overall DK Metcalf who I was trying to get on the field. Um, I even have <laughs> I even have a pretty decent receiver on the bench. And then one of the most, uh, not surprising, but training points, 102,000 training points. I didn't even sell all of my training points. That's, that's something. I didn't even go through the full process. I just did like the really expensive ones but I'd be willing to bet that if I wanted to rebuild my team with just training points I could probably get them right back up close to a 94 95 without even trying but one of the biggest things that I've been harping on about training points is to me it is a complete and utter scam if you were to go and buy cards to make up the hundred thousand training points you'd probably have to buy two 97s or a 98 some variation of that I would ballpark that it costs about I'm saying I probably have just in training points alone that I quick sold so far I probably have at least a million coins if not a million and a half and then if I did my entire team it'd probably be close to two million coins worth of training points that I have basically locked into the training points uh, uh, section which I can't really do too much with which is something that I've been harping on for a while now to me training points is a huge scam that's two million coins that EA just basically burned it's money that you'll never get back you can't really transfer I know this year they made it so you can buy packs uh, with your training points but what are you really gonna get when you when you open packs P packs are just you get 10% you get 10 cents on a dollar every time you open a pack anyway so to me like I said this is just it just shows you that all these training points is just money in the bank for EA it, it's a total scam they need to get rid of it um, and like I said I'm gonna say I'm gonna hold on to these training points just in case when the rookie premieres come out that maybe there'll be a way that you can buy packs to get rookie premier cards fast I'm gonna try to get all 10 this year but ultimately you know I, I don't have a lot of faith in EA doing that we'll see if they do it's something they have to do because to me training points is such a waste and then the last thing I'd say we might as well just take a look at the gameplay see how this team plays because like I said to me having you know decent receivers a decent offense I don't really know what my opponent's playing with. I mean, most people in this game at this point in time have a 95 overall offense. You can see right here my opponent's doing that stupid kick to the fullback thing just like everybody else does. Uh, but this is the first game I played. I just wanted to see how my team would work. I pretty much called my offense exactly like I do. Very first play coming out in the Pistol Bunch TE verticals play, which I've used so much. Uh, luckily, my opponent, he comes out in a cover three look, and I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to bomb it up. I mean, I'm not really not even wasting time. You know, he doesn't, he, he doesn't even look like he's coming out in a cover three blitz. It looks like a pretty base 
cover three shell. So I go the full variation. I motion out the running back. And that Y route for a second looked like he might not have been there. But then he, sure enough, he was. And then I think my controller's broken, which is why that happened. <laughs> I thought it was lag at first. But I really think that, that one of the joysticks on my on my remote control that I use is kind of is kind of broken right there. Because that should have been a touchdown. So very first play, no real result change there. Next play, I'm just going to hit him with a stretch, which is something that I've run, you know, to an exhaustion. If I had a faster guy, maybe would have scored. But, you know, pretty pretty good job from Josh Jacobs right there anyway. I mean, to get, like, what, close to 20 yards on that carry. A pretty good carry. And then the very next play, I go right back to it. Uh, my opponent using the DT for some reason. A lot of people like to do that. They think they control the run game. They think they can get pressure that way. Fine. He does that. Didn't work out for him there. And then I score three plays. Should have scored in one. Scored in three plays. So, like I said, right off the bat, I was like, well, I mean, I could definitely hang. You know what I'm saying? Even with a team that's probably less than my, than my opponent by quite a bit, hasn't really changed too much. So then on the defensive side, running the same blitzes that I typically do. I did not make any upgrades to my cornerbacks or my safety, uh, my free safety spots. Still like a, a 71 uh, Kevin Bayard. That's a problem. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I think I'm probably going to get burned by it. But my blitzes are getting home the exact same way. I know a lot of people think you got to have like ridiculously overpowered uh, players for these blitzes to work out and you'll see in a few in a second how that really does not matter and that's kind of the point of the rest of this video is this really should matter more than it does and that's basically that my team at a worse level I've lost about five points in overall they're playing almost exactly the same and it almost seems like my opponent's getting some BS his way a lot of times I mean there was no pressure there a lot of times people have suggested that teams with lower overalls get a lot of breaks and you can see on that particular play what happened to that throwing motion like the ball i had no defensive player in his face and he just throws an absolute duck uh which i think you know gives a lot of people that's a lot of people's reasons for thinking that that's part of what happens and then the very next play we just send an all-out cornerback blitz and my i mean deon sanders who at the moment i think is like a 77 because i broke him down to nothing comes screaming off the edge gets a sack i mean this is something that you know we should be seeing a difference here this looks exactly like my normal gameplay even though i sold my team all the way down to nats that a lot of people wouldn't want we get another sack here. <laughs> we got a lot of nets that a lot of people wouldn't want. We got players like, I mean, is that Deion Sanders again coming off the edge? I mean, he's just coming and flying in untouched. He has no real speed to speak of right now. But none of this really seems to matter. And I'm not suggesting that you should go out and, you know, break your team down and expect them to play as good. I mean, I'm just saying that from what I have, I really could just make an addition here, an addition there, maybe two players and be right where my team was, which is insane considering how hard I had to work to get my team up to a 95. It just feels like a total waste of time and resources. A lot of people spend money. Like I said, I did not, but a lot of people spend a lot of money and a lot of time to build a team up, and it doesn't feel like, based off of the game I'm playing right now, like it was even necessary. So my opponent here, you can see, he quits out. But ultimately, like this video, I just wanted to point out, there's really something wrong here. There's something missing here. And I've touched on this, this, this subject in the past, where this really doesn't change anything. Thing. You know what I mean? Like, it just seems like, you you know, I mean, how many times have you had Tyreek Hill full speed, 99 speed running down the sideline and they get caught by like an outside linebacker or something like that? It almost just feels like an illusion. Like this entire game, you're working hard for these um, high overall cards. You're spending your, your hard-earned money. You're working all this time to get your team up to a point and get players up to a point that you think really make differences and really make plays. And they really don't. So either way, that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this or if you see any improvements you want to make on my new team, if you guys want to see those improvements, let me know in the comment section. Uh, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know and uh, I'll do that again. And that's it. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.